Hi, my name is Jason Rowe and in this video we're going to have a look at the new Photoshop super resolution technique um, that's been added in a recent update in March 2021. And we're going to look at it in particular in relation to the Fuji RAF RAW files. Now, as many of you Fuji RAW file shooters will know, there are issues with Photoshop and Lightroom with Fuji RAWs in the terms of the fact that when you import them they tend to be over sharpened and this leads to a worm-like pattern in the detail areas of, uh, of the image. Um, it doesn't happen on all images but it does happen quite frequently. So the image we're going to use is this shot we've got here. It's a Fuji RAF taken on a Fuji X-T2. It's 6000 by 4000 pixels which is a 24 megapixel image and it's at 300 ppi. Now if we zoom in on the image you can see there's plenty of detail in that shot. Um, there's the suggestion of some worms in the sky there. Um, could be worms, could be a little bit of noise. Um, if I zoom in to say 200%, that's actually 300%, you can see yeah that's, that's possibly the beginning of worms in the actual sky areas there. Now to get rid of that I have a, a technique that I use, I have a preset set up it takes away some of the sharpening but still maintains the actual sharpness of the image. Uh, so if I click that preset we can see that detailed sort of worm pattern has uh, been dramatically reduced and yet we still have plenty of detail in the actual file. If I drop it back to 100% here you can see there's lots of detail in that file, it's still relatively sharp and that gives us the option to sharpen it later in post-production once we've got it in Photoshop or Lightroom. So that looks pretty decent. We'll just have a little scoot around and we'll have a look at these guys here. They look pretty sharp and this little lad here, he looks pretty sharp. Uh, there's detail on the, the sign here, it's quite easy to read that text all at 100%. So we'll zoom back out. Um, first thing we'll do is we'll just do a few basic uh, colour corrections, the, the usual basic corrections just to get the image looking a little bit better. We'll bring the exposure up very slightly and we'll bring the backs down just until they clipping like that. Bring it back up, bring the whites up just until they start to clip. Uh, and there we go. That's uh, looking like it's clipping a little bit in that area there. So we'll just bring the highlights down a touch like that. And we'll bring the shadows up as well. We don't want it too contrasty. A little bit like that. And I think we'll back the whites off. That does look a little bit too contrasty. So that looks pretty nice. We'll add a little bit of vibrance to it. And that looks pretty good. We'll zoom in again. And as you can see, we haven't introduced any further worms into the sky because of this reduced sharpening that we've got on that. We'll have a quick look around the image and everything looks great. We'll zoom back out. Now to get the Photoshop super resolution, we simply right click on the image here and we go to enhance and that will bring up this new box here, enhance. And we can see uh, a preview of the enhanced details here in this little box. And if you click on it, it will show you without Enhance. If you release the click, it will show you with Enhance. So we're ready to go on that. And uh, we'll click the Enhance button. And we'll have to wait a few moments just for the Photoshop to actually do its stuff. You can click on the remaining here and you can see it's still processing. Uh, it does it pretty quick on this M1 Mac Mini. This is the optimized version of Photoshop and it really is quite quick. I've tried it also on a, an old Mac Pro and it's significantly slower. So uh, there's definitely uh, advantages to having these little Mac Minis with the M1 silicon chips in it. So there we go, it's already done and you'll see that a second image has now popped up in our timeline and this is an Adobe DNG RAW file. So the original one is this one and as we go down here we can see that's the original 6000 by 4000 pixel image. And if we click on this one you can see we now have a 12000 by 8000 96 megapixel image which is, is pretty vast. Now looking at them at both that uh, fit screen size you can see there's absolutely no difference. However if we go in at 100% on the original image we can see that's pretty sharp as it was before. But if we go in at 100% on the new enlarged image, you can see we're going in much, much closer because it's a much larger image. And you can see there's still amazing detail in the, uh, in the architecture here, in the windows, in the brickwork. 
And if we scan around the image and look at all the details here, beautiful, beautiful detail that's been enhanced by this uh, super resolution. And if we go to this guy here, these guys we were looking at earlier, you can still see this is a 96 megapixel image and there's no pixelization on his face. If we come down to this young lad here, again, no pixelization in his face either. So if we go back to the original and we'll come down to these guys, and you can see there's uh, obviously a clear size difference there, but we'll zoom the original into a similar size, I'd say about 300%. And you can see quite clear pixelization around the edges, particularly the sharp edges of his face there, uh, around his eyes. If we go down to the little lad here, very clear pixelization around his eyes. And if we turn to the new one, and we'll just come into 200% on that just to bring it in. And again, even at 200%, there's no pixelization around it. It's, it's smooth, there's noise in it, but uh, I'm sure we can deal with that in post-production quite easily. Um, and bearing in mind, you know, we're actually looking at a 96 megapixel file. It's actually quite astounding what Photoshop has actually achieved with this image. So we'll zoom back out, zoom that one back out as well. So we'll go back to 100% on the original and we'll go back to 100% on the supersized version. And as you can see, it really is quite remarkable. It's a very, very powerful tool. If you're using Fuji RAWs, so I've put some details about the preset, sharpening preset that I've used below in the details. So you can apply those settings in Lightroom or in Photoshop and create a preset and apply those before. And when you enlarge the image, you'll, uh, you'll greatly reduce the um, possibility of getting the worms in the shot. So I think that's uh, enough for today. Um, I think that's a pretty decent demonstration of how powerful this super resolution tool is. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you've really liked it, please give me a subscribe. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.